It began something like this. I was struggling to write an essay in Mr. Hardebeek's class because my hands were too moist. The problem simply could not persist or else my grades might suffer. So I thought and I thought, I talked and I walked until I got an idea. So what is it exactly? It is a pencil, but not an ordinary pencil and also not a pencil. 10% pencil, 90% science, as I like to call it. I need a handheld device integrated into a typical writing tool that was capable of keeping my hands dry during high stress situations. And so I set to work. I built a prototype out of 3D printed plastic I had lying around. Being the absolute genius that I was, I decided to incorporate a 12 volt PC cooling fan. And since I didn't want to figure out how to fit eight AAA batteries into a capsule that would end up being about the length of two of my middle fingers stacked on top of each other, I had to power it from the wall. Obviously this wouldn't go so well in the classroom since I wasn't exactly prepared to run an extension cord to my desk in order to actually use it, but sacrifices have to be made. The design was relatively simple comprised of an electronic DC cooling fan essentially bolted to a pencil. So, what went wrong? A lot. First model was mostly fine and I completed all of the electronics, but the pencil wouldn't fit inside while I was trying to make a hole and I broke it. The second model started off great, but took half an hour just to plan and ended up looking something like this. Until, of course, I tried to put a pencil in it, and I broke that one too. The first two were just honorable mentions, because the fate of the fourth and fifth models, even more disappointing, but definitely had something to do with using a drill, and those broke too. Spoiler. It soon became apparent that God was doing everything in his power to prevent the creation of the fancel. I'm stubborn, and I don't know when to quit. I risk insanity on every single one of my projects. I'm all in. At this point I was running very low on 3D printed garbage I could use to finish the project and I was somehow too lazy to make more. So this had to be it. The design came out to be mostly workable but lacked an eraser. And I also tried to make it a pen. Those were hard times. But miraculously I managed to finish the first working prototype of the fancel without destroying it promptly thereafter. When looking at the finished prototype, it's clear that this definitely breaks all of the safety code regulations. It features two exposed power terminals, exposed battery terminals, unshrouded fan propeller, Ritz cracker quality casing, and switch that may or may not randomly stop working in your pocket and may or may not randomly start working in your pocket. In spite of all of this, the design is ingenious. The planning was flawless. It was meticulously assembled. If it's not fancy, then it's time to cancel.